are increasing both because the people have the genetics to develop allergy, but the environment is changing in that we have an increasing number of allergens in the environment. It's only been since the last sort of 50, 60 years that the, the whole chemical industry has taken off. So there's now about 80,000 chemicals in the industry that have been produced that we get exposed to. Yeah, some studies have suggested that women can be exposed to over 200 chemicals a day just from what they put on their skin. Even before an infant's born, quite often they've been exposed to over 200 chemicals from the mum. We need to be aware that with this ease and improvement in, in our lifestyle, there comes a price, and the price could mean that we're exposing our body to more and more chemicals. I meet people, whether it's eczema, irritable bowel syndrome, whatever it is, diarrhea, constipation, a bloated stomach, people get to a point where if it's been going on for many years, they just think it's normal or they just think it's how they are and they feel like there's nothing they can do about it. So the first thing is to educate people that it's not normal. I like to say it's common, but it's not normal and that there's so much they can do to make a change. I think we probably need to question um, things that we take for granted and accept as being normal. Um, it might be fine for some kids, but for others, um, it, with sensitive skin, um, it, might, it might not be fine. The more people that begin to become aware that there's a choice and that that choice is easily in their reach, then that's exciting. Thank you.